F1 drivers are always looking for an edge, whether it's from themselves or their cars. But recent sports science has confirmed what many of us have known since the dawn of the Walkman in the early 80s, that there's performance and power in music. So music certainly has been academically proven to affect mood. Um, it's, it's a very personal choice, so, so the driver's own memories and experiences around that music count for a lot. We know that some drivers like to be really amped up by some heavy beats or some, some really fast tempo music. Others may like to relax with something a bit slower. So it's a, a very personal choice, but um, it does sort of take them to a happy mental space and, and it's pretty valuable in that way. It shuts out the noise. People like just getting in your ear and, hey, good luck, or hey, do that, or hey, can I have a photo? Or, so it kind of just puts you in that quiet moment. And the lead up to the race is so busy and so chaotic that it's actually nice to have a moment of Quietness. Music's powerful. Music's great. I listen to um, I listen to music uh, before every race, before every qualifying session, even before the practices. It just gets me in the zone. It's magical. So, what exactly are the drivers listening to, and how does it help them? Yeah, I listen to some music for sure. More more Finnish music than anything else. Finland, Finland, Finland. It's the country for me. Before race, of course, I listen to American rap, French rap, just trying to get that, uh, that spirit and, and mentality to feel strong. It really uh, depends on my mood. I got millions, I got riches building in my DNA. I'll tend to maybe listen to songs with some powerful lyrics, something that means something or it's motivating for me and that gets me in, uh, kind of just gets me pumped up really. It could range from hardcore metal to hip hop to filthy electro, just, yeah, whatever. I like the music of, uh, of movies, you know, like epic movies or something like that. Welcome to Teachers of Italian. Thank you, boys. Grazie, ragazzi. Grazie, ragazzi. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Sometimes it'll be music I used to listen to as a kid, if it, you know, it's Incubus or Rage Against Machine. Killing in the name of like Rage Against Machine, that's been on a few times. I've walked into the garage. Generally, it's relatively heavy, high energy. It's protecting them from all of the other demands of a Formula One weekend, and it's just taking all that load off them. Of course, music can't make you 10 times stronger or turn you into a world champion overnight, but what it does do is reduce the perceived physical effort, meaning drivers work harder without noticing. I guess it increases the pleasure of a workout. It's particularly effective for short, sharp efforts or for very hot environments. Um, yeah, it actually can be a little tool that buys you a couple of percent of performance. A marathon or proper trail uh, in the mountains, the athletes are not allowed to listen to music because it's considered as, as doping. Um, so yeah, definitely, I think it, it helps just uh, yeah, to, to get focus and, and to get there. Driver's parade is about 90 minutes before the race, 60 minutes before they get in the car. It's a time of the weekend where they really have to be starting to think about going to work properly and um, they're not just doing it to be rude for all the reasons we've discussed. I think we can allow them the liberty of, of that time in their headphones while they wave to the crowd.